Hey everybody, what's up? How y'all doing? I got motor stuff here, I got motor stuff there, here, motor, there, motor, everywhere, motor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we dug out an oldie. We uh, I dug out the 283. Yep, we got 283 here. As you can, I've been working on this off and on. We got it back together a while back. Remember I said it head on there and some sand come out and got in there well I finally worked on that and got her back to this stage again so I've got a set of heads oh yeah that's what I'm talking about that's what I got the camera for so anyway uh, can't figure out I've got some heads and I with the 283 you got to keep the compression up and what I got here is a set of what they're truck heads because the reason they're truck heads is for some reason GM thought they needed this extra bolt hole for a truck head or a little smaller port but the number is three nine four six eight one three yeah, three nine four six eight one three. And here's what they are. There's the part number. You got a sixty nine cc and a seventy five cc, and mine are date code back to nineteen seventy. Uh, February fourth, nineteen seventy is the casting date on them. So it says sixty nine cc. Says one seven two valve and one five exhaust. Not anymore. As uh, the heads, the head. Castings were okay, but the valve, the intake valves weren't. So we replaced the intake valves, and the exhaust valves were all nice and high. So these are now 194, 15 valves on these. Uh, and with the 283, you need compression to make the thing run. And I didn't want to put a set of 882s or 624s. Or any of the 76 cc heads on it that'd be too low so this set is going to go on the 283 another set is going to go to Texas and I got one extra set that I don't know what I'm gonna do with so anyway uh, when I go out get the gas cassette and we're going to start getting this 283 wrapped up I don't know if we'll get it. I, I want to get it running. I want to hear that cam in this little thing. But I just couldn't find the heads I wanted to put on the 283. Then I I thought these were a different head. Yeah, so I finally researched the number again. So, yeah. I, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, saved. Anyway, I'm gonna. Yeah. That's what I remember doing. We did change the exhaust valves because the other exhaust valves were those big fat ones that were filled, and they like breaking the heads off and destroying motors. So yes, we changed out. Yeah, this set of heads got new guides and. All different valves forgot about that I'm like there was something else the reasoning so that's why so I gotta make sure those maybe we did now they'd be closer than that together it's gonna say maybe we put one sixes in it but I don't think so huh. yeah that's what uh, yeah I, I knew there was something I was forgetting on those heads okay our 30 over flat top 283 uh, I want to notice here that's how you know 305 and 283s I got a lot more meat between the cylinders because smaller bore fatter area I had a set of gaskets for a 305 I must have used them or something because they're gone I remember being able to get the head gaskets for a 305 that had the fatter in here fatter thickness 
guess they no longer do it because now they all say the 280 everything uses the same head gasket now I'm like no they don't but they do now so anyway uh, that plug this has got stamp seal plugs in here and here uh, somebody's capped this one off for the old breather that used to go down the back of the motor so uh, bolts in yep that's not going to trip let me go grab that head whoops I never said head I had in the office No, these ain't our ain't our heart ARPs or old Mr. Gaskets. Said bolts I found. Yeah, that's let's see. Personal preference, they're not marked up or down or whatever. And there goes the phone again. As I was saying, it, it, I always put them with the splits in the metal up. It don't make a difference. I mean, unless it is specified on the gasket, that it makes a difference. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to get the other head off the shelf. They've been baked. They're, they're clean. But I still always safeguard by blowing them off and that. And I'll get the heads on this 283. And, uh, we'll go from there. If you're going to buy a thread sealer, buy it in the economy pack. <laughs> This is actually staying fresher than the small ones. As you can see, I got my torque wrench set up to my specified torque I need. I know it's my all the way out, so just like ever. So. That's what I love about this torque wrench. I can back off and reposition and and once I do that, let's see. Yep. I put a little mark on it so I know where I'm at. Now I've gone from here to there before, and I've gone from here to here before. I've had the same results, but this is before the other bolt, so. Gaskets I use do not require to be retorqued after running. I don't think they've made that kind of gasket in years. So.
Oh, and I did put through a sealer on them. I did that all off camera. And there. Since I got my mark here, I'll just double check. It didn't move. See, these heads were machine too. So. Yep. There you go. That's one set down. Um, just my way of doing heads. I've done it that way for years. No problem. So. Kind of nice to have some heads on this little motor, and I forgot these. Oops. This set of heads take the what they called the uh, fat plug. These are not a peanut plug head because I'll show you if I can zoom out. Okay, you see right there. The threads come all the way out. There's nothing. It's cut all the way around that hole. There's nothing for a taper plug to seal up against. So you need the big fat plugs. Oops, sorry. It needs the big fat plugs. There's. See, it's machine flat, and the threads are all the way out there. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to torque that other head on. Get that one torqued on, and then roll it over. I got, or go, I'll go get on my computer and see if I can find the video and see where I left off on the 283. I can't remember if I torqued the mains and didn't do the rods or if I had done all this one already. I don't remember, so. Uh, I know the 60 over we left uh, with just the mains torqued. The rods need to tighten and the same way with the 5.3. The 383 needs both mains and rods tightened, so, um, yeah. I guess I want to do the other side. Then we'll roll it over. Double check the torques on the crank. And, uh, it's time to find an oil pan, uh, oil pan pickup and tube. Oil pump. Duh. <laughs> anyway, all right. All right, I did a few things without you. I put the lifters in. I had a set to go on this crane cam. Check push rod length. And the stock ones are too long. I don't know why. And this one's just a hair. What is this? This is a 7600. I need like a 7700. But it'll run with it. It's within 100 thousandths. So got that there. And let's see. Oh, come on. There we go. Got that there. 383. Big Brother's there. <laughs> 100 cubic inch difference between this one and that one. That's a lot of difference. Oh, yeah, and there's Roger. He's He come up. <laughs> we gotta go do some running tomorrow. I guess my kids found a 2008 Chevy. Almost 300,000 miles on it for a decent price. If it ain't rotten, it'll, it'll last them. But uh, they actually said they would take the Ford. Yeah. <laughs> After they see the Ford, they might say, nah, you take it back home. <laughs> but anyway, I guess um, the heads around the 283. 
And I got a set of roller tip rockers. I don't know if I want to put them on this or put the roller tip rockers on the 383. I think they're going on the 383. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, I guess. We'll see. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll figure out if I had any other videos on this too. I know I did. I just don't know if I had them in a playlist. So I'll try and get that stuff for a grenade. So. And don't forget, homepage. I got a playlist of these builds if you guys just want to see the builds and not the other stuff. So go there and click on the playlist. Should be showing. I hope nobody said any different. So anyway, see y'all later. Have a good one.